Welcome, everybody, to the first official intro, I guess, to the Cousin, Cousin Connection. Connection podcast. Exactly. And my name's Amir. I'm Sarah, or Sarah, however you want to call Sarah. me. And, um, <laughs> Sarah Lee. <laughs> <laughs> and if the name doesn't give it away, we are cousins. First cousins, where first our mothers cousins. are sisters. So that's where the name came from. I guess we'll start off with like how we even came about this whole idea of starting a podcast. Um, you know, we kind of both wanted to do something along the lines of like whether it was like YouTube videos or podcasts or yeah, like talk something. about your talk about your oh. inspiration for doing podcasts. Oh, we, OK. I, I think we like sort of came from like two different um, yeah. um, ways when it comes to um what motivated us to do this? So, so tell your story. I'll tell my story, and we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, for me, I'm. <laughs> this is so weird. I've always been the type of person who likes to give like unsolicited advice. <laughs> 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 but I was I was pretty good at it. I yeah. feel like you know, like out of out of my group of friends, like I yeah. felt like I had a pretty level headed mindset. Mm -hmm. I like to give advice. I like to just help people in general. Yeah. And you know, when it came to um, my cousin, who's his sister, Aisha, um, she does YouTube videos and, you know, she did such a great job at like finding her niche, like what she's good at um, and working closely with her and just kind of like seeing like how she does all of that. I quickly realized like I could never do that. Um, and it for people who watched her, it, it feels like it because when you're watching people on YouTube, don't you notice that like sometimes there'll be one main person mm -hmm. and then eventually their friend will have like a spinoff yeah, channel. Yeah, they'll have a lot of spinoff, like their friends will get clout from them and then yeah. they'll spin off to their own thing. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that's what people just assume that I would have done, but I never did because I was like, I don't have the balls to do that. I'm sorry. Like, and I don't know what I would talk about. Like, I'm not. I'm sure if I really tried, I could probably get better at my makeup skills. I can like barely put on concealer. Okay. So mm. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it's not even blended all the way. <laughs> Thank God I wear glasses and you can't really tell. Unfortunately, because I have a sister in makeup, I can kind of tell. <laughs> yeah, I know. How many times have you called me out? <laughs> uh, too <laughs> many, I guess. At Sada, this point. Your, your highlight is not blended. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so I've always like kind of wanted to, when I got into podcasts, like when I started listening to them, I was like, oh, I, I would love to do something like this, like where you're just talking. Mm -hmm. You don't have the pressure of like being on camera. Yeah. It's just like, you know, you're saying whatever it is you want to say, but I just didn't want to do it by myself. Mm -hmm. And so I came to Amir and I harassed him for a very long time. How long ago was this? Like last year. Yeah. About a year ago, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, please. And he was like, nah, I don't know. I didn't say nah. I was, I was still contemplating on exactly how um, I wanted to kind of. I think you should make it louder. Like you hmm? should be louder. Oh, I should be louder. Okay, yeah. make myself a little bit louder here. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys can hear me a little better now. That's better. Yeah, but I was still kind of contemplating, kind of thinking about like what I would want to do if I were to start making content like this. How I would want to express it because there's so many different platforms now. So that's true. Um, I was kind of in that stage when you came to me, so I wasn't exactly 100 percent there, but it was still something that I was in the back of my mind. Yeah, I planted the seed, and I was waiting for the plants to grow. And you can see they finally flourished into <laughs> this whole setup that we currently have. Um, and, and then fast forward like a year later. Yeah. You came to me like, all right, let's start the podcast. I'm like, mm -hmm. what? Really? Mm -hmm. I like was ready to let go of the idea. Like, you, you came and you're like, I'm ready. And so, you know, I'm going to let him talk about how he came to the uh, decision to start it. Mm hmm. And then we'll get into the beautiful okay, name so you know what? Let, let me take you guys back <laughs> many years to 2007. What? Okay, yes, this, this does go back that far. So I was an early adopter of YouTube when it comes to viewing it. Mm -hmm. I, I was there from 2006. You know, I was watching uh, Charles and Ali. You probably don't know there. I do know them, Shea actually. <laughs> okay. Shay Carl. What band is Charles from? Do you know? Uh... I don't need to know band because I'm the old. I know where he was before he met the band that he's currently in. No. But people don't know the context of this guy that we're talking about. So I'll he, move I'm sure they know Charles and Ali. Uh, but uh, now I think I forget what his channel is called. But that those were the people originally on that channel, and you know Shay Carl, SXE Phil, who's now known as Philip DeFranco. Oh, that was his name. Before? Yeah, it was SXE Phil before. It was. But well, Loki, like you were mm -hmm. a content creator. Too. Okay, so I'm getting to that. That's why I'm going to 2007. 
So this is like probably one of the most embarrassing moments in my life to this day. So I was motivated after watching all these YouTubers to start my own channel. So, you know, I created a channel. Um, I got, I had a camera. I forget what I used as the camera at that point. I think we just had one in the house at the mm. time because my dad, um, he actually filmed our, our younger <laughs> lives. So we had our cameras in the house, our whole childhood, yeah. basically. So I took the camera, went into my computer room. I filmed the <laughs> video. It was a horrible video, <laughs> but I still did it. I edited it on, I edited it on movie time or whatever windows movie windows maker. movie time movie maker <laughs> exactly it had like the classic swipes and the, and the blurs and everything and i put it out on youtube and i think one day i just like left a tab open and sara and gizman or aisha my sister were in the in the house at that moment they saw the vi- they saw the tab open so they went to my channel they pulled up the video and all i hear in the other room is these two <laughs> girls laughing <laughs> hysterically in the room so i walk in and like you know when all the blood just rushes out of your body like you get you just feel like all the blood is like you don't know what's going on at the moment you're just that hyper embarrassment yeah i saw them watching the video and i freaked out when they did that because they were laughing and i felt like they were laughing at me you know this this is a really hard time in my life <laughs> oh please <laughs> so so immediately after i saw them doing that i like exited out of the video (laughs) i closed up everything and like an hour later the channel was gone i deleted the video and that was the end of my youtube career you're saying you're saying we made yourself exactly ironically my sister who is now a professional youtuber (laughs) who lives in la was a person who crushed my initial dreams of becoming a youtuber she was making way for herself she's like exactly let me show you how it's done she was getting rid of the competition early (laughs) (laughs) exactly so ironically like literally the next year she started posting videos and she started gaining traction so you know you she can pretty much uh give me give me uh, some of the credit when it came to you know the inspiration to start doing that kind of stuff (laughs) <laughs> what was i don't even remember what that video was like i, wh- I honestly don't remember what it was about to uh, that's why it was a horrible like it was just me talking <laughs> to the camera like about what I, I think at that point like i was really inspired by sxc phil or now philip defranco so yeah. i think it was more of just like uh talking about the current news or whatever was going on or uh the third pew who's now known as nathan the Z. um i don't know if oh. he was making YouTube videos at that point but it was very similar format interesting yeah but uh yeah so it ended there i'm sorry that i crushed your dreams i, I sincerely you apologize. know it's all water under bridge at this point <laughs> mostly for the most part but uh i did <laughs> funny enough years later when my sister found all the success on youtube she started coming to me and saying mm. hey like why don't you start a youtube video because um i'm always giving out unsolicited advice as well but yeah. more in the form of like um taking care of your health, uh, working out, eating habits, just general uh, healthy lifestyle uh, tips. And she's like, you should make a channel that's related to that. And I I actually, I was already thinking about this, but I I just didn't like being in front of the camera. Like being in front of the camera, I was still super awkward. I'm naturally an introvert. I I can be shy if I'm around people who I don't know, but I do open up eventually. But like, mm. I'm just a very um, introverted person to begin with. So YouTube mm-hmm. didn't seem like the platform that I should be doing that on. Like I, I, I at least at the beginning. Right. So uh, as I was contemplating this, I go on my walks. I go on walks every day, and eventually on one of those walks, I was like, you know what? After I was thinking about all, the, all these platforms to maybe make some content on, I was like, you know what? I feel like podcasting is like the perfect format format for me because it doesn't really require video and if it does require video it's not like all this crazy editing that you have to do but i can still get out that information that i wanted to um get out to people and i felt would would help people in in their general lifestyle or yeah uh, just in general because i'm not only i don't only one side like i don't only like i don't only focus on a healthy lifestyle i just focus on I, I like learning new things, and uh, I annoyingly like to spit out these facts to people <laughs> like Sara or anyone <laughs> near me, really. Like, I'll just talk about, I don't know, uh, black history. I'll talk about computers. It, st- it, it can wide range of topics. That's true. So uh, Pretty well-rounded, honestly. Exactly. So I, I think that really lends itself really well to the podcast format. So yeah. 
that's how I, uh, one day on my walks, I was like, you know what? That's what I should do. And literally that week, I bought all the gear. I talked to Sara. I bought all the gear. Then here we are. Yeah. Um, it, it's weird that we, it's like, I think this is the, the part of the cousin connection. It's like we we kind of come through or, or go through these separate epiphanies or experiences mm-hmm. but we end up in like the same sort of like path like yeah we yeah. come to the same sort of conclusion and we could talk about how connected we are because we we were literally grew up together like we hella even, connected yeah like we're she siblings was, <laughs> she was born in november of 92 i was born in september of 92 yeah our families lived in the same building literally floors away from each other yeah um so you can't i don't think you can be any more connected than we are when it comes to the cousin we connection. spent like every summer together at birchmont pool exactly Wonderland. we spent summer <laughs> together we literally grew up together like yeah she and in a way she is my sister as well but yeah i, I thought it would be the perfect host slash co-host to have yeah because i was going to do something like this exactly and i think that we're so different but we're also similar mm-hmm. and so our differences make for good conversation Mm -hmm. but we also like i feel like we both wanted like a casual vibe like nothing too structured so when we're recording these podcasts it's kind of like we're just having a conversation exactly just recording it and like we're hanging out and that's pretty much yeah exchanging information you know exactly and now i can like forcefully hang out with him more since he likes to hide (laughs) out in his house for like three four months at a time and i'm like are you alive (laughs) yeah there are i i have friends right now who like in different whatsapp groups that i probably haven't seen in a year a I year to in a year i'm like when i see them i'll be like yo nothing's changed man still cool with you all i mean stuff. you need to see when i friend. say i'm introverted i am extra that i'm a recluse extreme, <laughs> extreme introvert yeah. okay yeah so that's basically um our origin stories yeah or how we got to where we are right now um do you want to talk more about <laughs> growing up or our past um Okay, w- one of my first ever memories with Amir, and I know you're going to know this story, mm-hmm. was I think we were like maybe two, mm-hmm. and Amir was an interesting kid. He was the kid that got into trouble all the time. Like, he just did it. Like, he just did things that you shouldn't be yeah, doing. I was, I was a crazy kid when I was you younger. Know? A lot less chill than I am <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> and so there was this one day, I think like there was just like a bunch of people at your house. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why we were not being supervised because we were so young. Mm -hmm. But Amir somehow put on my shoes for me. Oh, this story. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like nighttime. Mm -hmm. And somehow we managed to escape the house and like make a run for it. I I dressed her in her shoes. So nice. I think like our shoes weren't even like Like on the right feet. feet. (laughs) Yeah. Like the left was on the right and the right was on the left. You tried. And surprisingly enough we were just able to open the door and walk out of the house at like two years old yeah and one of our neighbors found us on the street (laughs) but i remember we were like running yeah and then i heard our moms like screaming and so i'm the goody two shoes and i Mm -hmm. stopped but amir was like all right see you buddy like f you i'm out of here (laughs) (laughs) running (laughs) i was trying to make my escape okay you were ready you were living a hard life back then (laughs) <laughs> trying to lock me down you didn't pack any clothes you were just ready to go you didn't know where you were no, going man. Uh, every kid has like an escape story or <laughs> running away from home story did you see that video on tiktok yeah the one you <laughs> sent me <laughs> i think everyone's packed the suitcase being like i'm done with this house <laughs> putting in like their toys instead of their clothes exactly. packing it up and just walking out of the house exactly and so that's my first memory with amir um mm-hmm. and then every other memory was like <laughs> Do you remember when we used to go to Wonderland and we would be so afraid of the roller coasters? Yeah. Like, we were, and it would only be me and you that would be like crying and everyone else would laugh at us. I don't know what changed there because eventually I actually... You love roller coasters. Love roller coasters I still hate now. Them. You still hate them? Yeah. You guys forced me to go on like Behemoth and all those like big scary ones. I completely ones. forgot about that. <laughs> and like my heart is pounding. I'm like, oh my God, these guys are going to kill me one day. But well, I haven't been to Wonderland in probably mm-hmm. 10 plus years now. So No. Yeah. It's been a long time. 10 plus years? Yeah, I don't think... How old am I now? <laughs> really? <laughs> don't age us like that. You're 28. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's another thing you guys can learn about. I'm 28. She, I guess since I already I'm told her, she's also 28. Yeah. 
but yeah, it has been really a long time. One of my least favorite memories is when we we were supposed to go to the same high school and oh, you literally shoot, played me. This. You played me so bad. Mm-hmm. He was like, yeah, 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 so I had to apply. Like, don't worry, I'm going to apply too because it wasn't your home school, which yeah. I thought it would have been. It may, it may, no, like Birchmount some, was always my home school. So I went oh, to Birchmount Collegiate High School. Yeah, so he told me like, Same yeah. high school as a Belt Spy, a.k.a. The <laughs> Weekend. Just saying, <laughs> we were somewhat one year at the same time Did going you ever until he got kicked school? out. He what? got kicked out of school? Well, he got kicked out the same year that I went. So, yeah. I think he got kicked out. I'm pretty sure he got kicked out. Like, he, he didn't. I don't think he. Maybe he graduated, but it wasn't. Uh, he was gone by that point. But, yeah, that was the the summer <sighs> that we graduated grade mm-hmm. eight. Mm-hmm. You convinced me to go to Saytec, which, by the way, was like an hour bus ride away from my house. Mm-hmm. Okay. But Amir convinced me, like, this is the school to go to. I had no idea there were uniforms, Mm -hmm. okay, until after I applied and I got in and I was, like, deciding, like, yeah, I'm going to go to this school. And in the application, whatever, like, the acceptance package, it tells you, like, you have to wear a uniform. And I was so bummed because I've never been to a uniform type of school. And then you fully went to Ethiopia that summer. The the thing is... I don't know how y'all. I don't know how y'all believe me or how I convinced I don't know. y'all. I don't know what you said. To go to Seneca, like no Satek. I mean Seneca. <laughs> Satek. <laughs> Seneca Porter. was a college I went to. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, but um, because that's like an hour bus ride for y'all, right? I don't know, like how you convinced us. Still to this day, I thought you guys were joking when you said that I'm the one who convinced you. No, to I to go there. What? I didn't even know about that school until you told me. Like I literally didn't know about it y'all were dumb <laughs> no i literally i'm holding this against you for the rest of our lives because he convinced us and he was like yeah we're all gonna go to the same school together i was like oh cool it's gonna be so much fun he goes to ethiopia comes back forgets forgets okay i'm using air quotes. <laughs> forgets to apply and we get to the school and Amir is um, is is at Birchmount. Yeah, I didn't even. I don't even think I told you guys I was going to. You Birch didn't. Mount you didn't say anything. anything. So I assumed I was going to see yeah, you on the first y- day. Y'all just ended up going to say to me like, I'm like, where? Is this thing? <laughs> yeah, like, are we in the same class? <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe I convinced you guys of that. <laughs> I was so. You know who? You know who went to Saytech for like two point five seconds? Who? The other Amir. Oh really? For like two seconds. But well, that makes sense because he lives like literally down the street. Did he? Yeah. From Satek? Am I supposed to be saying last oh, names yeah. out here? I yeah, don't I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I gotta bleep that out we or something. We might have to bleep out his last name. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that out real quick. We don't need to run <laughs> legal action against us. But anyway, mm-hmm. yeah, he was there for like maybe like two days and then and he I think dipped. he switched over I think to he went, Yeah, he probably went to Bridgman right? after that. Yeah, so, I mean, but the funny thing is even throughout high school, mm-hmm. he used to pick us up every Friday. Do you remember that? Yeah. Every Friday we used how to come I, over. How did I? That literally, you know, when people did say, "Did you block that?" Un- when the people unlock a memory, that <laughs> unlock a memory. That? I completely forgot that I used to do that. What do you mean? That was like our <laughs> ritual. Every Friday before he could drive, yeah, he would just ride his bike to Saint Tech and mm-hmm. we would walk back together. Do you? Remember? Oh my god, I completely <laughs> forgot about this. That half an hour walk to your house. Damn. Let's circle back to what our goals are for this podcast. So we might have different goals here. So mm. uh, do you want to say yours or should I start with mine? No, start yours first. Okay. So um, I kind of mentioned this before, but my goal in general is to just w- take whatever I've learned in my life and try and give out the best advice or what I've learned over time. Um, but specifically for the podcast, like eventually I want to get to a point where we can uh, showcase different parts of ourselves. So we're we're uh what is it when you're multi-sectional but like different uh groups so like i'm black i'm a male and i'm a muslim so what mm. do you what would you call that um, um there's a word for it but essentially is it intersectionality yeah i think it's maybe intersectionality but we're essentially part like of it. a lot of groups mm. uh so of course we're going to come with a lot of opinions and a lot of experiences from each of those groups mm-hmm. and i want to kind of showcase all those things so uh I don't, we didn't mention this earlier but we're also Harari, well, Ethiopian, but specifically Harari, which is an ethnicity within Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. And that comes with a lot of history and a lot of culture that we can showcase throughout this podcast. Yeah. Uh, eventually, we'll have video, of course. We're kind of testing that out right now, but 
uh, once we feel comfortable with it, we'll have video as well to kind of show maybe the literally show some of these parts of our culture yeah that's true. um but also i want to bring on people with different experiences mm -hmm. uh whether it's within our communities that we're part of mm -hmm. so that's maybe what i want to say part of the communities because we're technically i want to talk about this uh in the future but we're technically part of like the muslim community we're part of the Haredi community and we're part of the black community so there's so many different communities that we're part of yeah and we could talk about how Sometimes those communities can clash mm -hmm. and bring up a lot of those issues that we see within a lot of those communities. Um, so, yeah, that's my ultimate goal to kind of showcase all the uh, parts of ourselves uh, in a way that uh, may inform whoever is listening to this or watching this. You might be already part of those communities, uh, but you might learn a few things from us. So what was your goal? You know, it's pretty similar to what you said. Uh, for me, um, it wasn't just giving advice, but I also feel like when we have these types of conversations, I always learn something new from you. Mm -hmm. um, because although we have some similar interests, we also like, we're into different things too. So mm -hmm. like, I'm always learning something new from you or just in our conversations, not just with me and you, but like with any of our friends, like we can talk about something. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I like learning new things, but I also like similar to what you said. Um, uh, I like to apply what I've learned based on my own experiences, what research that I've done, like mm -hmm. just things that I've learned over the course of my life. Um, I like to apply that and like share, you know, whatever knowledge or advice that I have with, with you, mm -hmm. with, you know, a future guest. And I think the whole, the whole idea of bringing guests onto this, um, podcast is also to get a third or fourth, you know, depending on how many people come on perspective on whatever it is we're talking mm -hmm. about. Um, both of us are very opinionated and have a lot of things to say, but it's also good to invite other people to, you know, further expand the conversation and mm -hmm. have more things to more ideas to bounce off of. Yeah. Um, and, and, and like you were saying the the fact that we were part, we're part of so many different, I guess, groups, if you want to call it that, um, you're exactly right. You made a really good point about sometimes there are clashes, um, but also ways that we find to kind of, blend all three or four however yeah, many groups we're part of. Yeah, because we ultimately had to do that. We, at this yeah. point, since we are part of all those communities, we had to yeah. find a way to kind of blend it all together exactly. and make it work. Yeah, and, I th and you know, we're not sitting here saying that we we, we don't claim to have life all figured out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we're we're winging it. We're yeah. just doing the best that we can. And, um, you know, it, it's... we When we say that we give advice, it's not because we think that we're right, but it's like, hey, this is what I've been through and this is what has been working for me. And, you know, we, we, I, I like to think of it as this is just like a casual conversation with two cousins and we're going to call all y'all our unofficial cousins. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> so just, a majority of them might actually be our cousins. Might actually be cousins. <laughs> <laughs> just due to how our community yeah. works. So, you know, this is just like cousin chats. We're just talking away. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay That's, guys. Uh, so, um, Thanks for listening to our <laughs> intro. Yeah. I'm going to keep it that. I think we'll keep it short for the intro. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, you know, please forgive us for the first few, you know. You know, so I think for, for people we're who learning. are listening to this now. Yeah. You know, inshallah, if we're, you know, many episodes later yeah they can be like oh my god i remember when their podcast was like this and yeah now look at how far they come or yeah. how far they have come uh so you know if you're listening thank you so much for the support like we mm -hmm. really appreciate that and um we are so open to ideas and you know if you want to come on the podcast because you have something to say hit us up hit us up mm -hmm. we are going to open up our social media and um you know, we want to connect with, with whoever is listening with us or sorry to us. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yeah, I mean, do you want to add any closing remarks before we, Oh yeah. Um, it's not technically official, but, um, you can follow us at cousin connection pod on Instagram. almost every platform, but starting with Instagram Yep. and, uh, that's where you can get the most update information. Yeah. And then as we, you know um develop our youtube channel we may or may not do twitter i don't know i, don't, I honestly have never used twitter so i don't know yeah you have well i've had a twitter channel i have i had a twitter page 
but now it's blocked because mm. um i didn't use it so i, oh, I literally, you deleted your account no i literally made it and never used it and then i didn't know this but someone hacked my twitter <laughs> <laughs> and what? for years they've been posting <laughs> really like yeah those like bitcoin <gasps> fake ads or whatever and i didn't know this and then one day i was like you know what let me try and go back on my twitter and see what's going Shoot. on and i was blocked and i i couldn't figure out how to reactivate it so i kind of just ditched it and was like yeah whatever so someone's potentially using your face and name well now it's blocked completely so it doesn't matter oh, oh okay um okay. but yeah twitter has never been a platform that i've really used and i don't really use social media that much as well so i'm gonna have to come back onto that i got you on that yeah you got me on that so. I, i'll take care of the social guys exactly um yeah we may or may not do twitter but honestly i feel like instagram is a pretty good yeah it's a good base to start off yeah from. yeah yeah, yeah. and it will expand from there and branch out exactly mm-hmm. okay guys uh thank you for listening again and uh this was the cousin connection podcast stay blessed <laughs>